I'll tell you what's coming over Soldier Field. It is a fog. Yeah. A heavy fog now is setting in over Soldier Field. Look at it rolling into the south. See it. Yeah. yeah, coming right over the top of the stadium on the south end. At 12.55 p.m. Central Standard Time, the playoff grudge match between Mike Ditka and Buddy Ryan was disrupted by something remarkable, an act of God. I mean, it was the strangest thing you've ever seen. This bank of fog just fell into the stadium. It looked like this thing came up like a blanket and it just, boom. That was kind of freakish. When the fog rolled in, we thought we were gonna hear sirens. We saw what we thought was uh, smoke. Either smoke or fog rolls in over Soldier Field. It's not smoke, it's fog. And how does that work, Vern? Warm air goes over the cold water and whatever, however that stuff is. Whatever, it's eerie. You could see the clouds moving in. They were physically moving. It was just like any of those old sci-fi shows when, when the monster appeared. All right, we may not see the second half of this game, guys. He didn't know if it was vapors. He didn't know if it was some atomic gas that the Russians had flown in. When I first saw it, it was coming over the north end zone stance, and there was a weird feel, and I just got goosebumps thinking about it. And it was coming down the aisles, and it was rolling over the stance, almost like, like in the movie The Ten Commandments, The Pestilence. The Ten Commandments, the way that the Death Angel came in, low and just on the ground and all of a sudden the next thing you know it just got bigger and it got wider and it consumed everything it's over the entire field leave it to mike to get the scriptures in there i was waiting for the locust and the frogs and the boils to start breaking out. The fog we had at Soldier Field was what's called advective fog. A-D-V-E-C-T-I-O-N. Advection. So what happened was warm air sloshed in or got blown in by a gentle breeze from Lake Michigan. It was laden with moisture, with water vapor. When it got over the cold surface of the field, the water vapor turned to little droplets. Generally, it sticks to dust, which is always present in the atmosphere. All the little droplets reflect light and uh, prevent light from going in nominally a straight line from the object to your eye. It bounces off all this fog. <sighs> and so you couldn't see the middle of the field from the sideline. We may be going to another dimension now. That's, that's science, my friends. It's a very interesting and remarkable effect, that fog bowl day. The cloud enveloping Ryan and Ditka's players had all the hallmarks of an eighth grade science experiment, except the eagles and bears were the guinea pigs. As the fog rolls through Soldier Field, Cunningham deep for Jackson. He's open, caught in the fog. I can't even explain today how that felt, other than the way this looks right now. It was very similar to this eerie feeling that I'm experiencing right now. It feels like I'm in the twilight zone or something. Cunningham throws it. Incomplete. None of us had ever seen anything like this. And Bejas is two of three. Sneaks it inside the right upright. That narrows it to 17 to nine. It really was like magic. It was like playing a Sandlot game. All you see are the players that are on this field. And you walked outside of, of the fog wall and there's your coordinator saying what did you call that time you know so you, you kind of call what you want I'm looking at Singletary and he had those eyes those beady eyes like everybody used to talk about and I, I laughed and then step back nothing if 
he dropped back two steps, I couldn't see him at all. It almost looks like it's too thick to be a buck. Our mouth was a, 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 a gate. We're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. What the is this? <laughs> One time Cunningham ran out of the pocket into a fog bank and I couldn't see him. And I was 10 feet behind him when he took off running. You knew the fans were there, you couldn't see them. So it was like they were piping in crowd noise. There was a little more holding going on. There were some plays that probably could have been construed as pass interference. The referees just couldn't see it. Goes deep in the fog. And, it's incomplete. and the play was right in front of me in the middle of the field. I could see the players that were closest to me. It was very, very strange, very eerie. You couldn't see things. That fog. That was Mother Nature telling CBS, you don't run things around here. Because I don't know how they fill those two hours. When we looked out away from the monitors, it was so thick. It was just gray and white. We can't see anything beyond 10 feet. No, that's it. You, you, they can see our monitors. This is how we're doing the game. We're just look, taking it off the off our monitors. It was like a movie. Sanders goes right and disappears in the haze. The disappearing players added to the eeriness. They run passing routes, and then they were gone.